Hi, so this is Bizarre. It was an idea put into my head by Michael Meadows in a brief comment that he made in a previous video, and it just goes to show how brief comments can spark off the most amazing things. Now, there are some bizarre things that happen in this video, or at least bizarre as far as I'm concerned, and it's all about radiant energy. Now, have a quick look at this. That's Tesla's Radiant Energy Collection System, and I'm going to set up these swag plates in exactly the same way. So if you remember the swag plates, they were just two strips of copper with the conductive ink painted on a bit of plastic, and I built a whole load of them into an array of ten to do the swag generator. Then Michael wrote to me and said, hey, set it up like the Radiant Energy Generator that you've just seen. So here I've got a piece of wire, and that's just connected to my um, water pipe, my copper water pipe as an earth. And if I connect it to there. Now I've left my resistance probe on there, that's we use this to measure square resistance, but obviously it's two plates separated by dielectric, so it is in fact a capacitor. So what we've got is an earth going through to one side of a capacitor, which goes through to here, then the other side of the capacitor is connected by a single wire to the swag collection plate system. So that's operating as my um, radiant energy plate collector. So the whole thing is pretty simple setup and it's set up like this. We've got our swag plates, we're going to one side of the capacitor, taking the other side of the capacitor, and we're taking that to Earth. We're taking our reading across those two points, and it's set at AC. Now, that looks exactly the same as the drawing that Tesla's got. The only thing he does is he's got a spark gap across that point there. And um, I've put the voltmeter here, and the actual reading on the voltmeter is in volts. So you're seeing 0.8756 volts at the moment is what it's reading. And it's on AC. If I put it on DC, I get nothing. If I put it on AC, then I get this reading. And that makes sense, obviously. Now, some really curious things happen. I I'm wearing gloves, because if I touch it, look at that. It jumps up, even through the in uh, insulation of the rubber. I take the rubber gloves off and I touch it with my hand, <laughs> it jumps up even further. That's really quite wild. So let's put the rubber gloves back on because clearly I'm having an effect. So obviously um, what's, uh, what I think is having the effect is that I'm acting as a capacitor. So I'm adding capacitance to that system and I think that's what's having the effect. However, if I hold the thing up, and not very high either, look how that thing jumps up. And equally, if I put it on the floor, it shoots right down. So let's put it back on the table. My well, table's obviously got a glass top, so it's insulated. And we're getting over a volt there. I, I, I keep staring at the meter because I can see it through the camera. I, I mean, I, I don't know what's going on. And I think that's absolutely fascinating. So maybe this is a radiant energy collection system. It's certainly a very interesting set of results, which is obviously why I'm sharing them with you. So there we go, the swag generator plate, and remember, the swag generator plate is nothing more than this. It's the conductive ink painted across two copper strips. Looks like it's acting um, like Tesla's radiant energy ge uh, generator. Now isn't that wild? Now, I've got no idea what's going on, I just thought that was super interesting, so I thought I'd share it with you. Maybe it is a radiant energy generator. If anybody's got any ideas about what's happening, because I don't, then please feel free to comment and write to me, I'd love to hear what you think. Anyway, I'm just reporting back because I thought that was fascinating, and I hope you do too, and um, thank you very much for watching.